voice to educate other people on some of the things that I've learned through a long career professionally, but also through college, high school. Ultimately, I was very fortunate to maximize the potential and the opportunities that were in front of me. And there's nothing more than I would love to see than other people do the exact same thing. So Shador was one example. I talked to guys about, you know, what sustainable values and traits are in people, you know, discipline, determination, your work ethic, your attitude, all those things you can bring with you every single day. I think the challenge, I think, with what we're dealing with with young people today is they all have the ability to self-promote mm. and get gratification from their own self-promotion. When we were young, for me to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated, like my idol, Michael Jordan, mm. was a big deal. So, man, I had to do a lot of good things over the course of an NFL season to get recognition to be on the cover of a Sports Illustrated. That was unbelievable. Right. I mean, I thought, holy shit, that was unbelievable for me and i was in my seventh year now people have these young athletes have hundreds of thousands sometimes over a million plus people follow them on their social accounts and they think that that it, there's something sustainable about that mm. you know because you have people paying attention to you but we used to be paid attention for excellence right not for making ourselves to to, to get some moment that people could see a uh, you know us being like a jackass right you know okay we're gonna pay attention to that because he jumped off a, a balcony into a pool like right. okay yeah that may get a lot of clicks but in the end there's nothing sustainable about your excellence in that so i've always thought great if i'm going to deal with people i want to see them achieve and maximize their potential they have to do that through discipline through hard work through commitment through teamwork mm -hmm. and if you do that, there's a great reward. It may not be this instant gratification of you posting something about yourself and everyone liking it. And I think we're in that cycle where people think that because people are paying attention, they're liking something that actually means something. It, and I think if you want to build something great, that's over a long period of time. You better you better do it, do the right things. You better be up early and staying late. You better care about your teammates. You better care about your organization, your coaches. You better communicate properly. You better figure out how to relate to your teammates. You know, you better have a work ethic and you better practice the right things and work hard at your recovery and, and be focused during the season on what your job is. And I think even those things that, like I said, convey to Shador in a very mm -hmm. short period of time and I love him to death, but I want to do that for everybody because your social media account isn't going to determine how long your career is. The and thing I think what's going to determine. The, I'm sorry, the, the thing about it that I think is very, very important is because what you're saying, I think, is an easy message for NFL players to receive because the business of the NFL keeps you humble. You could be here today going tomorrow and grown men inside that locker room get it. The college athlete, however, it's a tougher challenge, not just because of their youth and their being oblivious to the business aspect of it all, but also because of the things that you're saying. That level of popularity, you achieve it in college, you think that's supposed to carry over. And it's going to be sustainable and 